The war in Ukraine devastated the country. The eyes of the world watched on in horror as a humanitarian crisis unfolded. The ripple effect that has been caused and the toll that it's taking on neighboring countries, unfortunately, often goes unnoticed. That's how we found ourselves in Rishkova, a small rural town in Moldova over 7,000 kilometers from Canada. Like anybody following these events, we at Just Vertical wanted to help out in any way that we could. At Just Vertical, we specialize in building indoor farms that provide real food for real people. So using this technology, we thought there must be a way we can leverage this to help feed people in need. As it happens, one of our neighbors down the street from us here in Canada is Global Medic. They're a Canadian charity that provides disaster relief and humanitarian aid. That's where I met Rahul. Wow, I like the hat, man. That's really cool. Okay, so who's gonna care? And he got talking to me about the work they were doing in the situation in Moldova. Here's what's happened. 18 million Ukrainians have been displaced by the fighting. 1.8 million came through Moldova, and about 123,000 of them stayed as refugees living in Moldova. And they're hungry, and they're poor. They don't have jobs, they're crammed into apartments. It's a tough life. It's a lot of folks that are in the capital of Chisinau. You know, they've got accesses to some services, but then the folks that are living out in the countryside and the smaller villages, there's no services for them. A lot of them don't even have access to clean drinking water. Many Moldovans are doing their best to help them, but the aid's running out. It was obvious to me that we had a unique opportunity to create a difference in the lives of people who desperately needed it. So we rolled up our sleeves and got on a plane. Probably the first two to three days in Roscova will be a bit of a mad dash to build the farm, set it up, test it, make sure everything's running. We'll have to do training. It's, it's probably the f one of the few projects or the, the few projects we've done in the last six months uh, that means the most, I think, to myself and to Kevin on a personal level. We started the company to build things like this. Like it was always a food security mission. So to actually be able to do it and action it is pretty incredible. Building a farm on the other side of the world where you can't uh, walk down the street to Home Depot, you know, the voltage is different here, the wiring is different, the plugs are different, even the, the chemistry in the water is different. You know, it presented some unique challenges and it was, a, it was a great way for us to flex our skills a little bit, flex our talent. I was really excited to be on this journey and, and come here and see a different culture, see a different country and also deliver our product and build a farm that I think is going to have real impact in a place that is, you know, the poorest country per GDP in Europe and also a place that, you know, has traditionally been probably ignored. Moldova is fascinating from an agriculture point of view because they have a lot of growing areas. Problem is, it's a lot like Canada climate wise. It gets really cold in the winter and they can't grow year round. So for us, when we're trying to feed refugees and the poor, we can't source locally year round. Catalyst Kitchens, which is an organization that renovated uh, an old farm and converted into a shared kitchen space. We started to produce packages of food donations for various donors, including Global Medic, 
of Toronto. They mentioned that there could be a possibility of uh, some greenhouse equipment or something like that. They introduced us to Just Vertical, the team that started to build a custom system for our operation. The Just Vertical team came out to test run it and to train our team on how to operate it. Drop them in and shake mm -hmm. them. Okay. There's no soil in the, the system, so it's just water, hydroponic. The greens and the, the tomatoes and whatnot that will be grown from the, the vertical garden will be given to the refugees that we've been serving the last three years. <laughs> I think the impact of the farm is giving folks a little bit more dignity and choice in terms of the food that they're, they're getting and the food relief we can deliver. You know, if you're a woman, there's no jobs. So to be able to create indoor farms and be able to hire those women from the village to be able to grow food and then give that food away to refugees fleeing the ugly war, that's an amazing impact on the livelihoods of those women. Working with the people here has been phenomenal. They've been super welcoming and, and super receptive to something that hasn't been done here before and, and really supportive of the mission. Perfect. It really hits home, you know, when you see the, the real tangible impact on their faces and what they say to you in a way that really drives home that we, we can all make a difference and, you know, hopefully this farm contributes in some small way to, to making their lives better. Together, we've built our first vertical farm, and right now, we are growing fresh produce year-round, no matter how cold it is outside, and we're giving that fresh produce to Ukrainian refugees in Moldova.